Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this little lace stitch. To do this stitch, all you need is any size yarn and whatever hook size that that yarn recommends. I'm using worst weight yarn, which is 4 ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia, and I'm also using a 5 millimeter hook or a size 8 hook for the US. The multiples of this stitch is 8 plus 4. And what that means is that you're going to just chain in sets of 8, 8, 8. And then when you get to the width that you desire, then you want to go ahead and chain 4 more and you're ready to begin. Okay, I did my multiples of 8. I got it the width that I want, so I'm going to go ahead and chain 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now I'm ready to begin row 1. For row one, you want to start off by double crocheting in the fourth chain from the hook. So count one, two, three, four, and in this fourth chain, do a double crochet. Then you want to chain three, and then skip three. One, two, three, and in the next chain, you want a single crochet. Then you'll chain three again. One, two, and three. And you'll skip three again. One, two, three. And in the next chain, you're going to put three double crochets. One, two, ah, sorry, I'm fine with my yarn. It's too low. And three. Then you want to chain three again. And you're going to be repeating what you just did a moment ago. You'll skip three, and in the fourth, you'll single crochet. Then you'll chain three again, skip three, and then in the next stitch, you're going to put three double crochets. And that's going to be the repeat for the whole row. And then again, you'll chain three, one, two, three. You'll skip three, one, two, three, and in the next you'll single crochet. And then again you'll chain three. And you'll skip three, and then you'll do your three double crochets. You'll repeat this for the row, and then I'll show you how to end this row. So I just finished my last set. I have three double crochets, chain three, skip three, single crochet, chain three, again skip three, which leaves you one more chain on the end, and you want to work two double crochets in that last chain to end your row. And that will end row one. So for row two, you want to chain one and turn. And the very first double crochet of your row you'll put a single crochet, then chain three, and now we're going to be working with this set of chain three on one side of the single crochet and the other set of chain three on the other side. So these two chain three areas. And we're going to be doing an incomplete double crochet for the first and the second, and then we're going to pull through all the loops. So what you do is you yarn over, go inside this first chain three space, pull up a loop, you'll yarn over only pull through two, and then now yarn over and repeat for this next area, pull up a loop, only pull through two, now you have three loops on your hook, you'll yarn over and pull through all three loops, then you'll chain three, then you'll find that center double crochet out of the three, and put a single crochet in there. And then you'll chain three again. And then you'll do your next set of incomplete double crochet. So yarn over, go into that first set of chain three, only pull through two. And then you'll yarn over, go into the next set of chain three, and only pull through two, leaving three loops on your hook. Then you'll pull through all three loops. Then you'll repeat that again, chain three, Find the next middle double crochet here, put a single crochet in it. Then chain three again, 
and you're ready to start your next incomplete double crochet section. Chain three again, and again find that center double crochet, single crochet into it. Again, chain three, and then you'll do another incomplete double crochet section. Then to end your row, you're going to chain three as normal, but this time you're going to find the chain three at the very end, and you're going to single crochet in that top of the chain three to end row two. And that's what it looks like at the end of row two. Now for row three, and we're going to be doing the repeats of the row we just did, which is two, and then now the next row, which is three, we'll be repeating rows two and three to uh, repeat the pattern. So for row three, you'll chain three and turn. You want to do a double crochet in this first single crochet of the row. Then you'll chain three. Then you'll find where we did the incomplete double crochet. You see how you worked it in this one and this one? You can bring it up here. It's one single stitch now. And in that stitch, you'll be putting a single crochet this row. Should be easy to work in. Then you'll chain three again. And then you'll be working your three double crochets like you did here again but in the single crochet that we did last row in that center double crochet. You'll now be using that to create your next set of three double crochets. Just a second, fighting my yarn here. Okay. Don't you wish you just had endless yarn? You never had to actually pull it up <laughs> never ending yarn. Okay, after you complete your three double crochets, you'll want to chain three again. And again, you'll want to single crochet in the top of the, where we did our incomplete double crochets. Single crochet there. And then again, chain three. And then you're ready now to do your three double crochets worked in that single crochet. This is a very easy stitch to do. After that, you'll do a chain of three. Again, single crochet in the top where we put our incomplete double crochets. Then you'll chain three again. And now we're ready to do our next set of three double crochets. And then chain three. Then again, we're going to put a single crochet worked here, chain three again, and then we're going to put two double crochets worked in this last single crochet of the row. One, and two. And that will end row three. Now you'll be repeating rows two and three over and over again. And I'm going to take you again through the row two. So when you're ready to start, which will be your actual row four, it's going to be a repeat of row two. You're going to chain one and turn. You'll work a single crochet in the very first stitch of the row and then chain three. Then we're going to start our incomplete double crochets again. So we're going to be working in our two chain three spaces Yarn over, go into the first one, pull up a loop, pull through only two. Yarn over, go into the next chain three space, only pull through two, two, three loops on your hook, pull through all three loops, and then you'll chain three. You chain three after every set. So once you've done that, again, you'll find that center double crochet and put a single crochet in it. Then you'll chain three again, and then you'll do your next set of incomplete double crochets. Chain three again, then single crochet in that center, double crochet. Chain three again, 
Then we'll work our next set of incomplete double crochet. It's like an incomplete double crochet cluster, mini cluster. So when you finish with that, you'll chain three again, and then single crochet in that center double crochet, chain three. Again, do your incomplete double crochets again. Pull through all three loops, chain three. And then you're going to find that very first uh, chain three at the beginning, and you'll single crochet in it to end your row. And then I'll show you the repeat again of row three, which will be your actual row four, I mean five. You'll chain three, turn. To do this row, I'm going to steal some more yarn here. Just so I don't have to keep jerking on it. Okay, so you did your chain three, yarn over, go into that first single crochet, and do your double crochet. And then you'll chain three. You'll find the incomplete double crochet mini cluster here, and you'll put your single crochet in the top of that. Then you'll chain three again. And then you'll start working your single, I mean your three double crochets in that single crochet. Then chain three again. And then you will single crochet in the top of that cluster. Mini, mini cluster. And then it'll just bring you right up to your single crochet here where, where you will put your three double crochets. It's like super easy row. And chain three again, single crochet, chain three, then three double crochets. My screen keeps falling asleep. I want the light. Okay, so you'll chain three again, single crochet again here in that little mini cluster. You'll chain three, and then in the very last stitch of the row, you're going to put two double crochets worked in this very last single crochet. And that's the end of row five. And that's the repeat. Now again, you're going to repeat row two and then row three, and it makes a very nice little lacy stitch. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to click like and share this video. It helps me out so much. Comment down below. Let me know if this uh, helped you or what you plan on using this stitch with. And if you're wondering what hook I'm using, I'm using a wooden furls hook. You can find the link down below the video, and it'll take you to a place where you can get it. And I recommend that you order it with an extended hook, because if not, it's going to come in half the size. Also, I have a crochet Facebook page where we share things that we've made, pictures of things we've made, or free pattern links and things like that. It's a really nice group. It's also, you can find the link down below this video. So that's it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye.